Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Live with Prima. My name is Frank Garcia. I'm really excited to be here today with you guys. Can you guys hear me and see me okay? I hope you guys can see me and hear me okay. All of our equipment was kind of moved around, so I had to re-put it back together. So hopefully you guys are able to hear me and see me okay. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Maybe I'll move this a little bit to the... There we go. Hi, Janelle. Glad you're able to join us. Lisa, hello. Yay, everybody can hear me. I'm really excited because this is going to be a really fun show. Um, I'm going to be sharing my new collection with Prima, which is um, The Archivist. And we're going to be working on this album right here, which is so beautiful. I am really in love with it. Um, it's using my new Memory Hardware line and my new Archivist line, which are two new lines that debuted at CHA. I'm really excited about these lines. They're just so beautiful. Everything, again, that I love. So I'm really, really lucky and happy and blessed. Um, and I really appreciate you guys commenting on all of my pictures. It's just so amazing. And I'm going to show you guys some different ways to use the product because um, I've gotten a lot of questions about the albums. Okay, so this is um, uh, the album we'll be doing today. We're probably going to get through um, most of the cover and maybe one or two pages inside. This is going to be a two-part show, so um, we're, we're going to do um, most of the outside and everything today, and I'm going to be showing you some of the goodies today. And then um, the next show, we're going to be actually um, completing the whole entire album. As you can see, there's tons of pages in here, so there's a lot to do in this book. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and um, get started. Um, is there any questions before we get started? Let me move this computer a little bit because I can't see you guys chatting there. Hi, Lipao from Mexico. She came to our adventure. She is the sweetest. Okay, so I want to show you guys um, what we're going to be working on today. So let me move some of this stuff around here. I hope you guys can see me okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to work with is going to be, obviously, the book. So the book is from my memory hardware line, okay? And these books come in three sizes. Um, they come in the rectangle form, they come in a square, and a gatefold. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm really, really happy about these sizes. They're great sizes. I love the albums because they're sturdy chipboard, so they're really thick chipboard. You can see right here how thick they are. And um, they're bound perfectly every single time. These books, guys, are handmade. They're hand bound. So there's people hand binding these albums. They're not made by machines. They're hand bound, just like our flowers. They're made professionally. So it's really, really nice and sturdy and high quality. And um, what I like about them is that you can do different things with them. So you can do mixed media, you can do just mini albums, but I'm a big mini album fanatic, so I like creating mini albums. And it just it's just an easy go-to thing. Um, so this is the book right here, okay? And um, the rectangle one comes with this little insert on it. Um, this is item number 990381, okay? And you can see some samples here of other albums I've done. And um, what I did is I went, get, went ahead and painted the book and I painted it with black gesso. I used Prima's black, black gesso. This is item number 961459. And I went ahead and painted a border, and I'll tell you guys why in a minute, all around the book, okay? Um, and every single page. And I wanted to show you guys back here um, how easy it is to paint this book. So I'm gonna grab a brush. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this. And you're going to see how easy it is and how quick it is. And how cool and easy it takes to paint. I mean, it really absorbs that paint really well. And you can see that you don't need a lot. You just kind of brush it on there. And it's so quick and easy. So I'm just going to make a one-inch border around each of the pages. And I just wanted to show you guys the back cover really quick so you guys can um, see how easy it is to paint this. And like I said, it's high quality chipboard and high quality craft. So it's really, really nice. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody excited over all the CHA stuff? I'm excited. I'm excited. Can't wait for it to hit the stores and people seeing all the goodies. Oh yes, there is an embossing in the back. I didn't know that until recently. It says memory hardware. Um, 
But, you know, most of you guys are going to cover it anyway. But it's just a cute little accent. I didn't know that until someone pointed it out to me. Just thought that was a cute little accent. And um, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what my inspiration behind Memory Hardware was. I love creating books. Um, and I teach albums all the time in my classes. But um, people sometimes want to just a go to easy, fast book. Um, it's nice to build albums. I like building them all the time. But it takes me a long time to build albums. And once I, I kind of build it, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm, sometimes I'm really tired. And I'm like, oh, I just wish I just had a book that I could just go to. And it's already done for me. So even... Even though the books are already bound for you, um, that really opens up a whole world of creativity for you because now you have a book that it's a blank canvas. You can start painting it, you can start decorating it, and you can do as much as you want on this. And I love this size too because this size opens up a lot of space for you. So that's always a nice little thing. So I went ahead and painted that, just kind of getting a little bit of those little spots that I missed. Okay, perfect. And you can see how quick that was. Just gonna close this gesso really quick. Alrighty. So now you can see that it's immediately drying. That's why I like I like using gesso. I'm just gonna give it a quick, 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 nice dry. And it's already dry, see? Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover the front and back. Now I'm going to be using the archivist collection, like I said. I'm going to be using my A4 paper pad. Now a lot of people always tell me like, what am I going to do with this pad? Like they never want to buy it or they don't know they're confused or they have a lot of these in at home. Well, guess what? Um, with these albums, all you have to do is take the sheet and you literally cut it in half and you have two pieces for the book. It's just that easy. And, you know, I make it that easy because I'm lazy and I don't like to, you know, measure and do a lot of work. So I just cut my paper in half. So I took one of the sheets and I cut it in half. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges with a little bit of ink. It's that easy. And yeah, this album is really thick. It has um, thick chipboard pieces. They're heavyweight chipboard, so it won't warp when you paint it. It won't, um, you know, lift or anything when you're putting mediums or doing mixed media journaling on there. It, it's great for everything. Carrie made a beautiful album recently using it, and I was, like, so, so happy because, you know, Carrie's amazing. And um, she made a beautiful album using um, my line, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. I hope she posts soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these pieces onto the cover and back cover. I'm just going to run a line in the middle. And all you have to do is kind of center it on there. And you can see that it immediately does a border. And I like that because I never like putting my paper flush to the edges because it's always a pain to have to cut all those little pieces that are extra, especially if you um, don't cut straight like me. <laughs> so you can see it's perfect every single time. So I'm going to do the back now. And again, super duper easy. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on here. And you have that immediate beautiful border. And it's already looking so beautiful. I mean, I could just basically leave my book like this. Okay. So that's the cover and the back cover. And now I'm going to take um, my... I'm going to move this over to the side just for a second. I'm going to take my trim, and um, you guys know how much I love trim. I love trim. And this trim here is from the Memory Hardware line as well. And you can use it for your albums. Um, I love putting trim on the side of my albums, and 
we have this one here, and we have um, a couple of other ones too that are um, a bit different, but I wanted to show you guys three that I'm excited about. These are actually brand new um, for the show as well. Um, these are my sequin trims, and these come in a roll like this. And you can see how sparkly and pretty they are. Look at how beautiful that is. So you can put these on the sides of your albums. Isn't that cute? Let me show you guys the other ones here real quick. If I can find the opening to this. I'm struggling. Okay, here. Look how pretty that one is. I love it, it's iridescent. So that's the white one. And then there is a black one because we can't have it without black, right? Love that. So these are three new trims that come as part of the memory hardware line. And then um, we have th um, this one here and two other Rosette trims, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out of the little cardboard and you get almost two yards in this So it's really plenty for you Let me go ahead and take it out of the packaging Okay Oh, and the item number for the reset trim, by the way, is 99459. That's the item number for that. I'm going to go ahead and take the trim, and I'm going to go ahead and color it. And what I like about this is that since it's white, you can actually color it any color you want. So I'm going to be using um, my new color, Empress Gold. I love this color. It's like my favorite color. It's the one that um, matches Archivist, and this is um, 580315. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of worn leather. This is 573892. You want to go ahead and give these a quick shake. And I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here so I don't mess up the... Well, I shouldn't get this one because this one has just the one is. I'm just going to take... I don't know. I'll just do it on the mat and then I'll clean it up. If I have... Um... Oh, here we go. I'll just grab a piece of plastic here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there. And I'm going to start with my dark color here a little bit. Just a little bit. In between. And you can dye the whole length or you can just do a pieces of it, but I like doing the whole thing just in case I, I'm i missing a piece. And if you notice, I'm leaving little gaps and that's okay. And then I'm gonna go in with my Empress Gold. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning. And I'm just going to fill in with that. And look at how pretty that color is. I just can't even... The camera doesn't do it justice, guys. It's just so pretty. Okay. Now you want to just grab the trim and then you want to give it a nice little rub. You want to just make sure you rub it because that's what really gets those colors mixed into the trim. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to take this and throw it out. I'm just going to give this a wipe here. Okay. 
And this is what it looks like once it's dyed. Look at how pretty that looks. It's just so pretty. So I'm gonna give it a quick dry. And you want to make sure you don't over dry it because it's it's very delicate. So you just want to make sure you dry it until it feels dry. Now it feels kind of dry. I'm going to move these sprays out of the way really quick. Just going to go ahead and wipe a little bit of this out. And this is what it looks like. It's nice and pretty. It felt dry for a second, and then it kind of feels wet again. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact that it's not, it's not too hot in California right now. It's a little bit chilly. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. And I also have another piece that I'm going to go ahead and spray. I'm going to take this little window right here. And this is from our Shabby Chic Resins. This is 891435. I'm going to go ahead and take just the window out. That's really all we need. And I'm going to take another piece here. I can probably use the paper this time just to spray it on. Oops. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly spray it with some of the brown. And I'm going to go ahead and dry it. Okay, and you can see right here, it's really nice and brown there. And I'm going to add a little bit of the gold because that just really finishes it off. And I missed a few spots here, so I'm just going to go in and spray some of that. Oh yeah, do you guys see that gold? It's just amazing. It's like Prima read my mind and said, yeah, this is this is the color Frank would like. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. Oops. Um this paper is not from the collection, it's just a piece of scrap paper I have. Kind of painted on it. Just 
going to clean this up a bit. Okay. And here's what it looks like up close. Has a little bit of a wet corner there, so I'm just going to get that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a little bit of distressing, and I'm just going to go around the corners of my little frame here just to kind of cover up any areas that I might have missed. There we go. It's looking very nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my album here. And I'm going to go ahead and start adhering the trim. Now, what always works for me when I'm working with these albums is I like to put something in the middle that helps me kind of keep it balanced. Okay? Just like that. I just put like a roll of tape or something. And I'm going to go ahead and put my trim on. Now, I always like to start on the edge right here. Okay? And I'm just going to make that edge nice and straight because sometimes it frays a little bit and that's okay. I'm going to run some glue on the edge of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere it. Now I, I, I want to go ahead and cut this off right here. But I don't like this little netting thing on the on that side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it off a little bit. You have to trim the whole thing, just kind of close to the flowers. But if you like it, you can leave it on. It's okay. Just a personal preference. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over this way. And I'm gonna lift the netting up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to lift it up like this so that I can push that next piece up against it, kind of like this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and put that up against it. You can see that it fits right in there. Again, I'm going to go ahead and lift it up again. Put the glue on. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it and just push it up against it. I'm going to go to the back over here. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just go ahead and run a line of glue right here. I'm going to put one more line right there, just for kicks. Okay. 
So now you can see how much trim we have left. We have plenty left for another project. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go ahead and give the trim a haircut. I like calling it a haircut because it's so much fun to do this. So I'm just going to pull this up and then I'm going to run my scissors to kind of cut off some of that netting because some of it kind of sticks out and I personally don't like it sticking out like that. And then you can kind of get back in there and there's some areas that you might have missed some glue. Just want to go back and add some glue in there. And then you want to obviously trim off any excess. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this up again. You can see how easy it is to do this. You're just really running your blade against that netting and it basically cuts itself. Oops. All right, there you have it. Isn't that pretty? All right, so now we have our trim on there. We can start working on our cover. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my tape back on here just because I like to kind of keep it balanced, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and take my frame, and I'm going to go ahead and take my A4 pad, and there's a piece of paper here that I absolutely love. This one right here, which is the last paper. So all these little cutouts and fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use it and cut out a piece of that. Um, let me go ahead and find my... Glossy accents here. I'm gonna poke my glossy accents, and I'm gonna go ahead and run a line here. I should first cut this out. I'm gonna use this one here that says Le Franc. Not funny. Kind of like Frank, but Le Franc. Just wanna see it in. In, in French. And yes, this is a very French inspired line. Hope you guys are not tired of the French theme, but I love it. I love France and Paris and all things French. I'm gonna go ahead and frame this right here. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut around it. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges of that paper behind it just because sometimes it'll show and 
You know, you don't want it to show. Okay. Yeah, cute that looks. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my foam tape. I'm gonna put some foam tape behind it. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this right about here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my large flowers. I'm using Valentina. Um, these are 571009. I love these flowers, they're so cute. I'm gonna be using both of them. And I'm just gonna kinda crunch them up like this. So they look more pretty. I'm gonna put one right here. And then I'm gonna leave a little gap here and I'm gonna put another one up here. And I know that's gonna look strange at first, but trust me, it'll work out. Okay, I always like putting my big flowers first. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these here, and these are really pretty. These are like the rolled canvas flowers. These are um, 578183. I'm gonna stick one of these in the center here. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some of these flowers. These are my fave. So from the archivist as well. These are Posterity 58490. I'm gonna go ahead and stick one right here. Kind of like how that looks. I'm gonna take another one of these flowers, this kind of coppery one. I'm gonna stick it right here, kind of in between. And I kind of wanted to show you guys that um, my collections work together very well. Um, if you guys remember, I did Cartographer last year. And you can see that the colors are really really awesome because they kind of coordinate with each other so i'm going to be using some of these cartographer flowers these are romer 574482 love these so pretty i'm going to stick one right here just think that's so cute look how pretty this flower is cute I'm gonna put another one over here. Maybe this gray one. Kind of right there. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, well, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more of these up here. Kinda I want to balance it out with a white one somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I'm going to take this vine here. This is um, one of our Prima vines. I love it. This is a 578268. And I'm just going to cut some pieces from this, some leaves, because I love brown leaves, not green leaves. And maybe this one right here. Okay. Gonna go ahead and put maybe this one in here. I like to just kind of bend it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this one over here. Maybe I'll put this one, this bigger one, with like the little swirly thing. On top of that, I want to put a small flower. I don't have the numbers to these. Well, actually, I do. 58476. These are like my smaller flowers. They're cute. I'm gonna go ahead and take these smaller ones and I'm gonna tuck one in right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put another one over here. I kinda like this polka dot one. It's hard to pack. I'm gonna squeeze this one right there. Now I'll put another one on this side. I have one more leaf I want to kind of put over here on this side just to balance it all out. Perfect. Kind of like the way that's looking. And I'm going to go ahead and take my chipboard out. Now the chipboard this time around comes with feathers and also comes with a little packet of sequins and then your chipboard, okay? And this is the archivist chipboard. This one is 579098. I love this chipboard because I like digging through things. Kind of just like, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and find this little bottle that I love, this one. Isn't that cute? Gonna go ahead and remove the backing on it. And I'm gonna put some foam tape behind it. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that under here. Just think that looks so cute. And then I have some um, little um, crochet icons. I mean, I just think these are cute. These are um, 573683. I'm gonna stick one up here, just kind of peeking out with some foam tape.
And this is how it's kind of looking like right now. Just think that's so pretty. Love, love, love the way it's coming out. I have another one of these that I want to put on over here to kind of balance it out. So I'm going to take another one of those. And stick it over here. Love those crochet icons, they're so cute. Alright, now we have that. And then right here on this side, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my wood icons. This one. Of course it had to be the Eiffel Tower, because why would it be anything else, right? I'm going to put some, carefully some hot glue on here. And stick that right over here. Yes, Zoe, I have to say, it's hard for me to admit, but I am loving this collection. Even though I love Cartographer, this one is like, I'm falling in love. Like, it's not even funny. I could use it over and over. Now, this, these are my Vincennes metal poles. Now, just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of Prima Trivia. All of my, all of my metals and pieces from memory hardware are named after French cities. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I just love that. And these are like the cutest little pools. So I'm going to put that maybe somewhere over here so that you can open it. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. You can really put it anywhere you want, really. I'll just put it up here. And you can, oops, oh, that glue dry pretty quick. Let me try that again. Let's see if I have some other glue here. <laughs> well, let's try that again right now really quick. Kind of dries quick because it's metal, so it just you have to be really fast. All right. Looks like it's on there. Just what it's looking like so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bluebeer's antique chains. I'm so excited for these chains because I love putting chains on my albums and you get so much chain in here. You get two yards per piece. So that means you get a total of four yards. I'm gonna take one of each color and these are cut in yards for you. So all you gotta do is separate them. And these are great for jewelry or if you wanna hang them off your books or any kind of mixed media project you have in mind. I mean, you don't have to use them on books only. You can use them for jewelry or all kinds of stuff. I'm going to take a little hook. It's just a little eye hook. And I'm going to go ahead and put that through the spine here. And since this is chipboard, I don't have to worry about anything. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and just screw that in there.
It's being naughty. Let me try that again. You have to make sure you don't get it tangled with the netting. That's the trick. Right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna take my chain and I'm gonna take my jump ring and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach some chain on here. Just wanna kinda alternate. I'm just going to go ahead and put it through that little eye hook. Just like this. Isn't that cute? And this is what the front looks like. Now we may have time to do one page inside. And I kind of wanted to do one with you guys because we have a few minutes left here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first page. Now, um, I went ahead and already covered the first two pages. Like I said, I used the A4 paper pad. I used this paper, which is one of my favorites. Where is it here? And again, all you do is cut it in half and then you put it on each page. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and take some journaling cards from the 4x6 journaling card set, which is this one right here. And um, uh, these uh, cards are 579036. These are from the archivist as well. Gonna take a few of these out. Hard to decide, these are also cute. Right, I'm also gonna take out this one right here. The one with the plants, cause I love it. I'm gonna take out my trimmer. It has a little edge, so I'm just gonna trim that off. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and ink these really quick. So maybe these just have a little bit of an edge, I'm just gonna cut it off. And then you want to save this one with the plants because we're not using that one right now. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges on these. Let me move this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I, I'm gonna take my scoring board. I'm gonna score these a half an inch.
and I'm going to go ahead and put some tape behind each one on that one inch. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my album again. And I'm going to go ahead and stagger these on here, starting with the first one on the top corner. And since you have so much more space to work with, you can definitely play with these. So I'm just going to fold this up like this. And then I'm going to take the next one. I'm going to just put that next to it right here. I'm going to just fold that up. And I'm taking the next one. I'm going to put that on the other side. like that. Fold this up. And then I'm going to have four pages. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to have a little corner over here that's going to be uncovered and that's okay because we have our chipboard. So I'm going to go back to my chipboard. I'm going to find my little cartoony looking clock. I love this clock. It's so cute. I'm going to just peel off the backing. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. You could also put a picture here or whatever you want. But I like I like the chipboard. I just think it looks so cute right there. Just kind of peeking out. You can put another picture here. You have enough space to put another picture. And get that. Now over here I'm going to take that one card I saved. This one right here. And I'm going to cut off the edges. And then I'm just going to cut it down to about, uh, let's say, five, five and a quarter. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges on that. And I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the edges of this. It's going to be a pocket, so I'm going to start from the top. gonna move this over again and I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here as a pocket. The pocket's gonna be opening from this side. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some other chipboard pieces here. I love these little pens. So I'm going to go ahead and put one pen on this side and then the other one on the other side. If I can remove this. 
I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna put the other one on the other side up here, kind of in the middle. And then in that pocket, I wanna put this journaling card right here. Are people getting hungry? Okay. I'm almost done with this here. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up here and this is gonna go right here. I just kinda wanna put it in the center. Like this. And then I'm gonna take a small one, maybe like a flower one. And I'm going to put it in the center like that. See how cool that is? And you have all this space for your journaling and your um, photos. And there you have it. So this is part one, of course, of the show. So don't freak out. We will finish this book. We just, you know, kind of running short on time. But um, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is what we did today. We did our beautiful spine. We did our beautiful um, chain on the side. And then we have other pages that we're gonna do, of course. We're gonna cover the whole album and everything. You can see here a sneak peek of the second page. You can see how you can really get really playful with these cards. You can put them on the side and create mats and stuff like that. So we're gonna be working on this um, on the next show. But I did want to show you guys the other albums really quick before we go. This is um, my square album. Okay. And this one here is already finished, obviously. And you can see how versatile um, these books are. You can do so much with them. And this is my, um, I can like to call it my, my ruffle trim. Parisian ruffle. Because it's just a beautiful ruffle. And you can see right here kind of already finished it. I added some journaling cards and some photos. Just so much fun. Frank, call 208 please. Frank, 208. Oh, they're calling me. All right, so here's that. And then I just wanted to show you guys really quick the other one. This is the uh, gatefold one. Okay, and this is one that I'm doing in Canada. Okay, and you can see here I added my chain, but I also added my sequin trim on the side. You can see how pretty that is. And then this one has my memory hardware latch in the middle. So you're just gonna open it like this and then it opens up like that. And you can see how fun this is. Kind of has a lot of different pockets and flaps on here. And you can see it's one part like this. And then the other one opens up like that. There's so many pages in here that you can do. And this is already done for you guys. So you don't have to worry about building these books. They're already done. All you have to do is decorate and play, have fun. Right? That's what it's all about. Oops, I put this the other way. There we go. And you close it up like this. And then you just close the latch. And it's done. Isn't that pretty? So I just kind of want to give you guys a sneak peek of all the other books here. And does anybody have any questions? I'm so excited. 
Yes, the gatefold is already pre-made. So you buy it pre-made. It's a blank canvas for you to just decorate. It's already done. Um, all of my memory hardware collection is going to be shipping in February. So you can see it in stores and online in February. Again, this is the book we started today. Just want to give you guys another peek at this and we are going to be finishing this next week so we'll get through all of the pages you'll learn some fun tricks to kind of get um some pictures in there and stuff i might even just put some pictures in it just so it's fun um i also have some announcements um next show coming up is diy home decor with jamie doherty um she's going to be featuring her new bloom girl stamps and collection that's going to be on thursday um at 6 30 pacific standard time um and then you can you know see how you can create one-of-a-kind projects um using your home um, for your home, sorry, not using your home, for your home, using her stamps. She's very versatile with her stamps. She loves creating all kinds of beautiful home decor. Also, um, just to let you guys know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but our special delivery Love Crush box is out. It's been selling like crazy, and we still have some left. Remember, special delivery is only $39.99 with free shipping in the U.S. So just go to livewithprima.com for more information. And thank you, everybody, for... For coming. Yes, I will be teaching this album in Canada in um, Edmonton at Scrap Addicts if you guys are in the area. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, everybody. Yes, I love these albums. They're just my dream come true. I just love them all. I just want to hoard them all and just hug them and sleep with them. I know that's kind of weird and creepy, but they're just so pretty. I love them all. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off because I got to go, but um, thank you so much for coming, okay?